Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. And you might have seen in my video 177, I did a really lovely dark background and I called it uh, Moonlit Meadow. And uh, it was a really nice, really dark painting. And I did a swipe first and then I added um, lots of lovely little flowers to make it really light and bright in the middle. So I thought I'd like to do something similar to that today. I've got a bigger canvas this time. This one is 30 centimetres square. And what I'd like to do is make it even darker than the Moonlit Meadow. I would like to use my Deep Sapphire and Payne's Grey base for the top. And that would really be very, very dark, a little bit like the darkness on this one. And then I would like to put some really dark phalo green and then some of my metallic greens um, around the edge as well. Um, and it's going to be really quite green. I, I've just got lots of <laughs> lots and lots of greens I've got ready. Some iridescent and some more opaque. So I want lots of dark greens around the bottom edge and the sides and then the very dark at the top. And the idea is that I want it to really focus in the middle and be really light and bright with some really bright flowers. And I just really want the contrast. So for the center, I've got just my normal white opaque and I've got my metallic white. And then I've also got um, these lovely um, pastel colors which I always like to use for my backgrounds. I find the metallic um, nice pastels. When I use my balloon to blend them all together, they just make a really nice background. So it's gonna be two paintings. So to start with, I will put the really dark colors around the edge and the really light ones in the middle. Um, and I will swipe that. And then I want to add on some lovely flowers, which I want to all do the same kind of colour really. So I'm going to do pinks and I'm going to do purples and lilacs, a nice iris here, um, deco art, uh, metallics as well. So just a nice mix of all the pinks and the purples and some white. And I'm going to use my straws and my balloons um, and my palette knives to make some nice leafy things. And I just think it's in my mind, so I'm hoping that it should really focus in the middle and be really light and bright. Um, and when I do my flowers on top of that swiped background, they should really be quite illuminated. So that is my plan. Uh, so I will get started with that and we'll see what I come up with.
So here is this little painting. I've turned the light off so that the light isn't reflecting in it. Um, so that you could just really see how those colours are. Um, I've left it so that it's very, very dark around the edges with that phthalo green and some metallic greens in there as well. There should be some really nice kind of leafy looking things around the edge. But I did want the edges to be very dark and then much lighter colours in the centre with the pearl paints in the background and some of the flowers on top of the pearl paints and some really lovely bright pinks and then really dark at the top but I did just put a few little white little dots with my balloon to kind of represent stars a little bit really I thought as it's a really nighttime kind of scene I thought that might be quite nice and then really dark at the top so it should be a lovely dark painting but then with those pearl paints and the reflective paint that should really make it quite a luminous I'm hoping in the centre and then just some very subtle kind of leaves and branches just on the edges there in quite dark colours again so it'll be interesting to see how this dries but it's looking very pretty at the moment so we'll let that dry for a few days and we'll see what that looks like so bye for now so here is this painting. I've had it on the wall for a couple of weeks now. I haven't done anything to it. It's exactly how it was when I finished painting it. Um, and it's really nice. It's really interesting because it is very, very dark. But at the same time, it is very light, which it's always what I like with my paintings. I like the contrasts. So I'll take you in for a close up. And it catches the light really nicely. I have got the electric light on in this room. But it's got the very dark around the bottom and the lightness in the middle. And I haven't altered any of these flowers at all. I've left them completely as they are because I feel they're kind of organic looking really. I quite like that. Um, and that little one in the corner is quite bright. And then these little dark little kind of leaves at the top. I really like those in the lightness. And then this little branch with these leaves, it just catches the light really nicely. But from a different light, it does kind of look quite dark. So I just like that, it's very, very subtle. And then we've got these tiny, tiny little stars just very pretty again and a nice variety of colours in the centre with the multicoloured green leaves and with the background being a swiped background so yeah I've lived with it for a few weeks now on the wall and I just really like it so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.